Hi, welcome to Two Jews on Film. I'm Joan. And I'm John. And tonight we are reviewing The Hunger Games. And I have to say, I was so looking forward to seeing this film. I never read the books, but I did know what the story was about. And I knew nothing. I never read the books. I never read any press. I never read anything right. about anything. So I had no idea what I was going to and see. And I'm sure most of you know what it's about. It takes place in the future. Uh, the United States has been destroyed. It's, it's There's like Lord of the Flies meets... Battle Royale, yeah. which is a Japanese film. And you know... Each, uh, every year, these two teenagers from the 13 or 12 districts are picked to fight to their death, and there's so it's one victor. It's very much like a, a modern day gladiator set within a, an environmentally controlled, uh, wood, wooded natural area, so, so that the people who are running the games can set up all kinds of uh, scenarios. Ab obstacles and scenarios. Right. And and basically, you know, it's sort of like reality television okay, today, except, you know, in reality television today, so far, nobody dies. Oh, well, it's coming. It's coming? Oh, I, I, I'm you're going you're gonna to be the first it's, it's one the to kill somebody. <laughs> death. Somebody's going to do it. And okay. Hopefully, it's, I'd do it if they, okay. if they offered me the money Anyway. For it. That's disgusting. You would Only... not do it. If you did it, I wouldn't I would divorce you. No, you wouldn't because you're gonna be the victim of <laughs> You're so sick. <laughs> He's kidding. Anyway, I love this film. I really I mean I absolutely loved it except for one minor little okay, thing. Okay, and now I will explain to you what the problem you is. You like the film. Wait wait a minute. But tell people you like no, the film because people there yet. think you don't like anything. Well that's true, I don't, for the most part. You that's not true. Okay. Okay. Let me just let me just finish this one little bit. Go ahead. Is that because of the MPA rating, Gary Ross was forced to really curtail the true bloodiness that, that could have been shown with this particular movie. Right. It's got a PG rating. So so what happens is is when they have fights, you, you don't know who's fighting whom. It's and like it's this. Very it's like fast. this. Okay, I'll, I'll, Let's do a demonstration. I'll do a demonstration. Okay. okay. I'm. Going I, to... I... <laughs> I know it's not that bad, but everything is. Sped up, right? Well, it's not sped up. It's just cut. It's cut Weird. so quickly. It's cut, and, yeah. And so, so you can't see it. You don't so, feel so it. So in my overall experience, instead of adding to the, the tension, it detracted and took me actually out of the movie. And as a result of that, that, that on, on the scale of, of one to five bagels is going to be affected greatly. Okay, wait. You know what? That is my only... I had The guy didn't read the book, but apparently the book is very bloody. And, you know, and not that I'm all for blood. I'm not... But it needed to be, the fight scenes needed to be more intense so that you more, can emotionally for, connect uh, we, to it. I think it. we're saying we want, we want more authentic fights. More authentic fights. And it was just, you know what, it was just a but little the, weird. But the movie, the movie, the movie is, is set up for a sequel, but if, I didn't even see the need for a sequel the way it's done. I mean, it, I, Well, gonna, don't tell people how it ends. Uh, I, I, didn't say, I didn't say how okay. it ended. I'm just saying that it's set up supposedly for a sequel, and you could fool me. But I have to say, you know, I was with people that read the books and for for the most part they really 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 enjoyed the book i mean the movie well i met people that read the book too who were had disappointed little, they weren't exactly disappointed they Get had the a bagels. couple of problems but they weren't disappointed john you love to exaggerate anyway i would have given um hunger games five bagels but because of you know the editing with the fight scenes and a couple other little things i'm going to give it four bagels out of five with lox, cream cheese, and, you know, this film is so good. What? Okay, what? What, what, what are you doing? Oh, no. Get that you know up. what? That's... I'm going with three bagels on this, and I, it's a strong three bagels with everything loaded on it. But I cannot give them more because there are too many mo moments in that film where I was disappointed and let down. Oh, my just God. What, you know, you know, it was. you know, you're a very aggravating human being sometimes, I have to say. But any, listen, guys, any, guys, girls, anyone that loved the book, I promise you, you will love the film. You will not be disappointed. Hunger Games opens in theaters this Friday, March 23rd, and do not miss it. Just remember, there's no accounting for taste in this particular instance. What does that mean? <sighs>